Hello everyone. I was recently asked how to create a custom ground coordinate system for a project in Civil 3D. A few years ago I made a video showing this technique. But the particular state that I used this on in the United States was a transverse Mercator projection. So it was a state that is slightly longer to the north and south. So that those are the states where the transverse Mercator projection is used. This particular question was on how do I do the same thing for a Lambert conformal conic state where the state is slightly longer to the east and west. So in the description, I'll put a link to the older video so you have a reference to creating this for a transverse Mercator state. But let's get started with the Lambert state. So in the drawing here, I have uh, some vector data that is in ground. So most likely the surveyors went out and found monumentation in state plane coordinates. And they scaled that up to ground and then shot it with maybe total stations and maintain ground distances and scale throughout the whole project. So what we'd like to do is create a pseudo state plane system that's in ground where we're just basically scaling the values. Now, if you need something more regional, if you need something where you want to try to eliminate the grid ground issue where they're just about the same, that's what is typically called in the United States a low distortion projection. So that is another technique that uh, we're not going to cover here, but uh, there's quite a few videos online that you can uh, seek out that talks about that in detail. So this is more for just your project. I want to scale this to fake a state plane system in ground. So the first thing is I'm going to jump on the in the settings tab. I'm going to go to my drawing settings. Notice I've set this to regular state plane Colorado Central Zone US foot. And I only do this to show you the shift. And how I can see that is by going to my Bing maps under geolocation. And I'll turn on my aerial map. And you can see the large shift relative to the imagery in the background. So the buildings up here in the vector and then in the image it's down here. So again, typically I wouldn't start with that. If I'm working in ground, I would typically bring my data into a drone that's already in ground. You know, I have a template that's already built with a ground coordinate system on it. But I just wanted to show you that. So now let's customize a state plane system and make it a pseudo ground system. To do that, I'm going to type in map CS library. This is a command I can use to edit or create a new coordinate system. I'm going to filter by category to my state plane, US Colorado, because I'm going to use the settings that are already in the standard state plane system and just modify a few. So here is my central zone, US foot, and I want to modify this to make it a pseudo ground system. So I'm going to select duplicate. Here's my new one. I'm going to select the edit button. It's a good idea to change the name so you can identify this. Again, this is not good naming I'm using, but just as an example. All the ellipsoid and datum, all that information came, came across from the copy that I made of the standard state plane system. Notice here, Lambert conformal conic, which we expected. Now, before I change this, one thing we really need to do is to write down our northern standard parallels and southern. And so I've made a copy of those two values here in a notepad file. And that because those disappear. So now that I'm I've done that, I've copied those down. I'm going to change this to Lambert conformal conic with a theme processor. So you can see how my parallels are erased. I'm going to put those back in with a paste. Okay. Before I enter my ground coordinate system, which is here, I'll go ahead and copy that. So this is my combined scale factor, which will take the grid distances to ground. Do a copy on that. So before I do that, I just want to talk about these other values above, these affine A0 coefficients and affine B0. So if you needed to add translation, if you didn't want to confuse these coordinates with state plane, because they're going to look similar if I don't use that, some customers like to add a translation value or a truncation to make those numbers much smaller so when you see them you know that they're a ground coordinate. So to do that in the A0 coefficient I could subtract off whatever value I'd like to take away from the X or the Easting value. So if I wanted to subtract a million I would put a negative 1 million here and same thing on the B0 side if I wanted to translate or take a value off of my northing I would subtract that here just by putting a negative and then a whatever value I would like to remove from the coordinate. 
We're not going to use those here, but we do need our combined scale factor. The combined scale factor is going to go under the A1 and B2 coefficients. So I'm just going to paste that in. They're easy to find because you already see the ones in those particular fields. The other two are zero, and we're going to leave those alone. So now we select Save. Close. So now we have it in this drawing, and I can assign it. Again, we could use this and put it in our template later. Now in Civil 3D, one nice thing, if you share this drawing maybe with someone on the outside and they don't have that in their library, it'll give them an option to add it to their library. So you can still share this file even if someone else doesn't have that system loaded in their library. But I'm going to select Assign. So now this has Assign Ground. I'm going to hit Save. What I recommended in the old video, and I still typically would do that, but uh, I'm going to take a chance here, but I would typically exit out, close that drawing after I save it and reopen it before I really start using it. So to test it, I'm going to turn on my Bing Maps. And you can see now that we're lining up very nicely. Now it's not perfect, but Bing Maps is not perfect. So that's, uh, we wouldn't want to base our decision of how well it behaves based on Bing Maps. We know it's close, so we're in the right neighborhood. But if you had some other geolocated data, GIS, boundary data, imagery, that you want to bring in a test just how accurate that your shift is. And then that would tell you if you made a mistake and maybe your scale factor or maybe your translation or something like that. So the goal today was to show how to do a custom ground coordinate system in a state that state plane system was based on the Lambert conformal conic projection. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.